Hello everyone, Megan here, the Healing Foods Coach. Thank you so much for taking time out of your busy days and coming to this channel and watching my videos. I really, really appreciate all of your support and all of your kind words and encouragement. Today's topic, you're doing great. So this is for everybody, whether it is your first hour on a more carnivorous way of eating, whether it is your first week, your first month, your first year or multiple years in, you're doing great. And I really wanted to emphasize that. It's, I think as people, as humans, we can often feel like we haven't done enough. We need to be doing more. Um, we haven't reached whatever expectations we have for ourselves, whatever level we're trying to reach or get to. We feel like we're not maybe getting there fast enough or the ways that other people are. And so it's easy to feel like, I'm not doing it right. I'm not, I'm not where I should be, or I'm not getting to the places I want to be at yet. But let me just say this. You're doing great. It takes effort and courage and time to make any sort of radical change in our lives, whatever it might be. Whether we are starting a new job, whether we are trying to get into a good sleep routine. Maybe it's giving up uh, our favorite books because we want to go out and we want to move more, right? Especially when it comes to things like our diet, okay? Radically changing from a highly processed, high carbohydrate Western diet to one that is lower in carbs or in fact has no carbs, depending on what pathway you're following, is a radical massive step and it's daunting and it's scary and oftentimes we aren't even ready to take that step into the change until we reach a point of being desperate and um, at our at, at the end of our ropes uh, health wise a lot of things have to go wrong with us physically uh, in our health as well as potentially mentally before we are finally ready to make a dramatic change and so you're doing great every moment of every day that you choose to not eat um, the seed oil laden junk food, the highly refined sugars, the processed crap. You're doing great every day that you decide instead of having um, highly carby based breakfast options like the toast and the cold cereal or the porridge and you choose to eat something nourishing and satiating like bacon and eggs or steak or sausages every time you decide to do that you are doing great and the reason why i wanted to share this as a quick video is because you don't need me i don't think to go on and wax poetic about this for 25 minutes i mean i could you guys you know me and my videos i could definitely do that but what i wanted to say to you i wanted to keep it to the point but also meaningful because sometimes we are our very own worst critics and we might be doing some wonderful, amazing, fantastic things, and we feel like it's not enough. But the reality is, every time in your day that you decide that you're not going to have the sugary sodas, but even, you know, you're going to swap it for the sugar-free diet sodas, you're doing great. Every time that you decide, you know, maybe instead of three coffees, I'm going to cut back to one. Maybe like me, you've even switched to something decaffeinated. You are doing great every time that you get yourself a burger and you don't eat the bun. That's fantastic. Every time that you decide to not stop in the cookie aisle or the baked goods aisle at your grocery store and instead you stick to the lower carb fruits and vegetables if you're having them. Um, as well as all the good different animal meats that you that you decide to eat. You are doing great every time that you feel anxious or stressed or um, like you can't cope with life and you decide you will not reach for the packaged garbage, but instead whole, real, satisfying, satiating foods. You are doing great. And I wanted to share that because the weight loss, if Many, many people come here because they have excess weight to lose. That was a big driver for me. And it may not come off easily. I was lucky. For me, it did. But for a lot of people, it doesn't. But you are still doing great. You are healing your gut. You are healing your overall health. You are getting rid of your brain fog, your chronic pain, your fatigue, your 
whatever whatever your myriad of symptoms may be, every time you choose to nourish your body instead of pumping it full, full of processed crap and, and toxins, you are doing great. And if you need to ease into it, that's okay. That's that's great. That's amazing. You may you may be on your first or second day of this way of eating, and you find that okay, you can't give up all the bread right 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 away. But you know what? You have a sandwich, but you only ate half half a piece of bread. You're still doing great. You might go out and order a burger, and maybe for right now you still want to keep the sauces and the lettuce and the tomato, and have half the bun. Guess what? That's still better than both buns, both parts of the bun, and the fries and the onion rings or whatever else you might have had with it. You are doing great. And so I hope this video is encouraging because every step forward is still a step forward and you are doing great. Keep going. Start with tiny steps if you have to, but every single choice that you make and decide that you are going to eat less of the carbs and you're going to cut out the processed garbage and you're going to stick with the good things to nourish your body. You know what? Just because you maybe don't see the weight come off magically right away, keep going because you are doing great. Every time you swap out the unhealthy things, the sugary junk for something that has got no sugar in it, you're doing great. You really are. And I need to hear that. I need to tell myself that sometimes because I can forget. You know, I can think, oh, it's been four years and I'm weight stable, but I still get tired sometimes. Or I, I still have moments where, you know, I feel like I could be tempted to have something that wasn't good for me. Every single step forward is a great step forward. And so don't, if you don't, if you are worried because you haven't got rid of everything all at once and you still have some things in your diet and yes, you have to clean that up and yes, you have to make more changes. That's true. There's always room for progress. And that's something I've had to learn too, is that, Hey, you know what? I have not arrived. My diet's pretty spot on, but for a long time, I still wasn't getting enough fat in it. Now I'm starting to get more fat in. I'm starting to feel even more healing, but you know what? I probably will have to tweak it from time to time because that's part of it. We we have to grow and learn as we carry on in life. No day is going to be identical. Even if you eat the same thing every day for a period of time, your body will adjust and adapt and you may then have to tweak it a little bit more. That's okay. You're still doing great because you're making strides and making effort, and taking steps to recapture your health. So for that reason alone, you are all doing great. So even if you don't see um, the symptoms easing up, whatever you're dealing with, even if you don't see the improvements right away, your body is happier already because you're cutting out the crap and you're increasing the good stuff, okay? The saturated fats and the protein uh, that come together naturally from animal sources. You are doing great. And... I wanted to just share that as a word of encouragement. I'm speaking to myself here just to remember, hey, you know what? We could always learn and grow and we may have to adapt things along the way, like I said, but we're stepping forward. We are determined to be as healthy as we possibly can to make use of our bodies in this life as best we can. We are all doing great. Why? Because we are trying to improve our health. We are trying to get the garbage out. We are trying to get better with what we put into ourselves and therefore how we treat our physical bodies. I know that we will not be on this earth forever. We won't. We all have an expiration date. But I certainly plan to have as much health as I possibly can until that day comes because we don't know when that day is going to come. But I definitely try, try, I'm trying to be as healthy as I can now. And I plan to take advantage of my health for as long as I possibly can. And I don't have to be perfect. I do not have to be uh, a CrossFit person. I don't have to be out pumping iron. That's not me. And with my back issues, I, I can't anyways, but that's okay. I'm doing great for me because I'm moving forward every day in better health. And so are you guys. So I hope that this is an encouraging video to you guys. I hope this is helpful. Don't forget, if you're interested in one-to-one -one coaching, you can book sessions with me through my website, 
down at the bottom of the screen. And let's get healing together. And remember, we are doing great every time we make better choices. Thank you guys for everything. I appreciate all your support. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye for now. Thank you.